Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning, here tonight to chat about this new Mrs. Piss album, Self Surgery. Mrs. Piss is the new form duo of Jess Gowry and Chelsea Wolfe. Now, Chelsea and Jess have actually been working together for quite a while. Uh, Chelsea, if you don't know, she's a California-based sort of gothic singer-songwriter who in her early days caught my ear with the grime and the glow and apocalypsis. Honestly, these were two enjoyable albums, but they always kind of rubbed me at the time as like a singer-songwriter who kind of had a sense for the more dark side of things. But it was with albums like Pain is Beauty and Abyss and His Spun and even her last album, Birth of Violence, that saw Chelsea push out into industrial, doom metal, black metal, and gothic folk. Now, honestly, this project kind of just got announced about two weeks ago, so this kind of caught me off guard. That being said, let's chat about this thing. Uh, this album, this very short album that is, starts off at the crawl inside. Man, right off the bat, what disgusting, dark, grimy hole did this crawl out of? But it builds tension masterfully with very stiff drumming and whispers. And yes, it's very short, but it's very intense. And it builds the album well with the repeated mantra of I'm bathing in the shit of the world. Uh, then we have Downer surrounded by uppers. And even from this track as like an early single, which it was, this is a great surprise. If you're a fan of like Apocalypsis era Chelsea, well, you're going to want to hear this. It's sludgy, it's fast-paced, very murky, and very in-your-face. It's kind of like I'm watching a late 70s horror flick that just kind of seems a little bit too real. The verses are non-stop and just vile and murky and fast-paced and just constantly coming towards you. But we also get this big, bold chorus with Chelsea at the helm, and it's magnificent. Uh, call me crazy for a kind of very noisy, very rushed, old-school sounding track from Chelsea Wolfe and Jess Gowry. This is awesome. This album, while very short, is sort of a very grimy, gritty surprise, but not for the faint of heart. Nailed, on the other hand, much more slower-paced, doom-oriented. It's much more hulking as well. It's intense and brooding, and honestly, this production is just so thick. Outside of that, though, this track has a lot going for it. Chelsea at the center of this hulking, brooding mess sounds otherworldly. In a weird way, it brings me back to the early days when I was first discovering her, and I thought she was the freaking coolest. This track is great. MBO, TWO is a little bit different. It's a little bit more upbeat, but it's also a little bit more streamlined. It kind of shows that Chelsea and Jess are a little bit more in tune with the sound here. It's still murky, though, and very sloppy, but it's definitely meant to be that. And let me tell you, Chelsea might be in command of these vocals, but Jess on these backing instrumentals is doing a pretty fantastic job and can't be overlooked at all. It's a very slick and brooding track, but it really has me craving for more of this duo. You Took Everything almost has a groove metal influence deep down. This to me is one of the most total package tracks here. Here we get Chelsea's very haunting vocals. We also get a very foggy, very dreamy atmosphere and a very intense backing instrumental. And the tortured screams that come in towards the end give me more of that. It's just this sort of murky underbelly of an explosive metal tune that just sounds like it could go up in flames at any second. It's very exciting. And self-surgery has some really solid electronics backing this track up, some great synthesizers in the background, much more compared to say nobody wants to party with us, but I'll get to that. Here comes off a little bit more tasteful. Love the throttling riff and the ethereal breakdowns and just how tortured Chelsea sounds. It's something we haven't heard in a while, but honestly, I'm all for it. Now, this album does have a few shortcomings, but overall, it does have me interested in this project. Like I said, nobody wants to party with us. Not really that into it. It does have a little bit more of an industrial sound to it, which I think is something they could do something with. But just not much of an explosion as other tracks. When this track does eventually take off, it kind of comes off very in the moment, which, you know what, does have a couple of exciting moments, but it's almost a little too much, that. And the finale, Mrs. Pisk, just kind of sounds like a Chelsea Wolf leftover. And no, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but once again, this kind of just does seem thrown together. Not only that, but the production is a little bit flimsy. Usually I don't think that this would bother me that much, but it's such a short sample size of Mrs. Piss that I can't, you know, it honestly hurts the album 
more than anything. Uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, it's a short album, but it's a pretty intense, murky, explosive album that has a lot going for it. I mean, yes, it's a very small sample size, but Chelsea Wolfe and Jess Gowrie seem to be onto something here. I'd love to hear this more in a full-length album, like a 40-minute album or so. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. I'm feeling a decent 7 on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.